young and they are getting on all things. Okay. Uh, I worked with this field for the last few years uh, with my friend who I knew two years back, Dr. Mantra. And uh, one very fascinating field in Delhi. Also, it's a field of bread butter for every doctor. Okay. According to statistics, of every six patients walking in your clinic, one of them would have some complaint related to you know, extremities and back and all that. So it's not very better. The very nice part of rheumatology is that it is one field where uh, any doctor in the world has to follow the raising order they consider. Okay. There is not a single case except injuries, you know, not brains. The rest of the rheumatology field, most of the cases, there is a lot of contribution of what's happening to the person's life and what suffering is having. Okay. Whether you take autoimmune condition or even other conditions which are all taken as a part of the map. So I selected a few cases of that kind where you can see these and where our scope is immense. Most of these cases and of the very income treatment with other scientists. So in that sense there is a lot of advantage we have. That's one field through which you can explain practice very fast because uh, half of them are limping or they are having a very visible complaint. So that also gives you a big advantage that you work on them through them, people know your caliber faster. Okay? Uh, it's like uh, making not only a patient feel good, but also people around feel a lot of good. Because when a patient of rheumatic is going through troubles, he is uh, he is uh, not just himself suffering, there is a whole lot of people around who are suffering. And uh, this whole process you can take care by involving in the physician. So, this is a very big uh, job satisfying area from our practice angle. It is also an area which test you out how many of the concepts can you put together and plan. You know, it is not like uh, that you take a short history and you have some good solution fix. It's something where you need to work really thoroughly with everything. And you are reminded of your basics, you are reminded of what you read, you are you're made to study again, all these things are there in this area. So it kind of promises you a lot of growth taking interest. And uh, there will not be anybody who will get reminded of this. Okay? It's not that something so rare. Uh, as soon as you settle in practice to some degree, you start getting simpler conditions and you start getting more tougher conditions. Because the practice as I always tell my students, it's like, you know, they ask me how soon should we start practice and how long does it take. Okay? So my answer then is that it depends upon the power of the magnet, you draw the follicles, you know, the iron follicles and all. How much you charge yourself with uh, capacity to solve problems. To that degree, problems will come to you. Now, you think uh, that you take many years to start practice will give you advantage. One thing you start too early and you will overcome the waiting period very soon. There is nothing like that. Okay? It all depends on how you meet your first patient, what the patient feels about you. That is going to decide how soon the second and the tenth one is going to come to your opinion. Okay? It's a full feel that you give to your person. And that will then depend upon obviously how much is the experiential impact that the patient carries from you when you from you. So with this, that's the title that I have put to the whole approach, fusion. Okay. Uh, you all have heard of fusion. It's something like integration, but a little more. So you require an approach of study for these kind of conditions where everything you are going to put into one. You know, you have read a lot, but all that reading must go into one so that you can really give some holistic care and you must realize that all our popularity and all our reputation of the humanitarian field is built up because of results we have been able to give in these cases which require holistic care. Humanity has not become famous for treating the uh, injuries of Adhika so much. As much as like in rheumatic field, there are WHO panel reports where humanity is mentioned to be the best and promising alternative medicine. Sometimes your uh, patient might come and tell you, my allopathic metabolist says that don't take anything else. You could quote to them, okay, that there are official agencies which have studied cases and they reported success rates. So they should also be talking fanatically, 
okay and uh, there are times when you can work together there are times that you can take independent charge no we have right from people from kent's time there are cases on rumai to the new authors okay everywhere you can find these cases to study and what you only have to know is that whatever is help happening in the modern scientific field about diagnostic about treatment methods because there are always a lot of things which good thing which happen in any science and if you are a scientific mind you would know what will work well with your medicines and how you can combine for best you know kind of care of the patient there are things which are bound compatible things which are not compatible and this is one thing which we learned from uh, our sir you met a lot of our group people now recently uh, dr dave represented a spirit which made us to feel you know don't just study homeopathy study everything which will make you practice homeopathy better okay so that was the whole thing with which we studied under him and i think now right now the difficulty i see in my juniors or students is there are a lot of things available when you are back we started to close the situation was like this that there was there were many people to teach uh, practice they, they people would like to sit in the clinic and you know show you the results people want to explain you what is happening now there is other extreme after 20 years there are a lot of people who want to explain you all things you know and that gives you so many schools of thought also it's like this thought this uh, way of thinking this way of thinking you heard about icr you heard about other authors so you need basically a free of mind when you have some clear basics and where you can put all these things together so it's like different religions okay for a person fanatically involved in one religion that religion is great but if you are just a simple educated mind which is trying to look at everything you would not find it difficult to say that all religions are very teach the same thing they try to teach humanity to everyone they try to teach good behavior they try to teach how you can overcome your negative experiences and remain positive and do good for yourself do good for others and the world will be better place to live it's something similar in homeopathy also all the different schools of thought they are different at some some part of the levels they all believe in the same core level and you can indicate almost everything in fact if you see even when you study the but you study about ken bogar morning or something at some level they all are very different ken spoke completely of mind morning was in completely of physical generals and bogar completely of pathological generals but can you say that all of you of them are so different that you can't practice them together it's not like so it's something similar about current approach is also that you hear about okay actually the teacher should not decide what approach you should follow okay you should also not decide what approach you should follow fine which the kind of case which you should decide how you will select your approach keep this in mind and you will find you can integrate all of them so we are trying to do something like that today hmm the word fusion represents this it's a union or a bonding okay together as one whole okay of different stimuli it, you try to make all this into one unitary experience and this becomes a continuous process becomes a continuous stimulating process and if you do it well it gives a lot of energy to you okay i'm sure if you try to practice with something similar You always find energetic at the end of the day. You do not feel bored or tired. No, you go with some interest. And uh, I'll share with you some cases in which I felt those moments happening. Okay. So you need to do this into a working system. Study everybody. Listen to everyone. See, it's like in every house there is a hall, there is a dining hall, there is a showcase. Okay. Every house also has a wardrobe for old clothes. And there, every house also has a toilet and an unclean area. Okay. When your guests come, what do you show them? You, sh- you try to see that they remain in the hall, and they are they should appreciate what collection you got in your suitcase, or how is your presentation of that room. Okay. I think that's what happens in all our approaches. Okay. We all suitcase what we do do very nicely. Don't think we only do things nicely. Okay. There's not a single home path in the world who is hundred percent result oriented. No, has an interest in result. I got hundred percent. I don't think it's even fifty percent for most of us. Okay, something like Kent has written that it is very very rare that we find similar. Okay, he wrote in lesser writing. It's very rare.